פייס כאן בברכה This is a kinder's hakel, like the Rebbe said, to continue hakel even after the year of hakel, to continue gathering Yidin together. And the matoro of every kinder's hakel is, like the Pasuk says, the matoro of the gathering is to bring about Laman Yishmiyu, Laman Yilmidu, Fiyoru es Hashem Alekechem, Vishomru Lasis es Kaldivida Teira Zois. The matar of hakel is not only to affect that specific the point of the hakel is not the actual kinus when the yidden came to the base of Migdish, rather to affect the yidden the whole life even after the year of hakel that is the matar of a kinus hakel. The Rebbe spoke in Shabbos Parshas Vayischan on Tov Shinon Aleph. It says, "Istakel b'shleisha dvarim be'inat aboli dey aveda." A person should look into three things, and through this, he will not come to do any avedas. What is shleisha dvarim? Istakel b'shleisha dvarim. The Rebbe asks. The Mishnah continues. It says, "Ayin roya veizin shemas v'chol maasecha b'sefer nichtovim." So why do you need to say "istakel b'shleish advarim"? It should say "istakel" in this, in "ayin roya veizin shemas v'chol maasecha b'sefer nichtovim." You don't need to say "istakel b'shleish advarim." Why do you have to say "istakel b'shleish advarim"? So the Rebbe explained that "istakel b'shleish advarim" is a yiro b'fnei atzma. It's a yiro on its own. Through this, that a yid looks into Shlisha Dvarim, which this is referring to the Geula Ashlishis and the Beis Hamikdash Ashlishi. Through this, a person will not come, not only to an Aveda itself, a person won't do any Avedas, but even Lidei Aveda. Doesn't say Le Aveda, but Lidei Aveda. Lidei Aveda is something, it's not an Aveda, but it's something that's going to lead you and bring you to do an Aveda. And the Rebbe says, is hated. Things that are muted. But if a person is going to do it, it's going to bring him to an Aveda eventually. So even such things are mushlil badarach mamela. A person will not come to do even the day Aveda when he's stackled with Shlesh Advarim, when he's looking into Shlesh Advarim. What is Shlesh Advarim? The Geula Ashlishis and the Beis Amigdash Ashlishi. When a person is going to learn in a way of his stackled be iun or be his in Yonim that are connected to the Gula and the Beis Hamikdash, a person will not come to do even Liyadei Aveda, even Taivis Hatir. So the Matar of Hakel, which needs to have an effect, Kol Ayomim, how does a person get to Viyoru Es Hashem Lekeichem? For Shomru Lassis is Kol Divri Atayda Azois, and like the Rebbe says, the main Indian of Mashiach. Is Shleimus Atayda Va'amitzvus? According to the Rambam, what's the Iker Indian of Mashiach? Al Pi Alocha, he will bring the completion that we're going to be able to do as Kol Divri Atayda Azois. How could we come to the Matar of Hakel? For Shomer Olasus is Kol Divri Atayda Azois to come to Yemaisa Mashiach, and we'll be able to do all the Atayda and Mitzvus. This is what the Rebbe said. This is through his Takel B'Shleish Advarim. Through this, you're going to get to the Yoru Es Hashem. And the Shomru Lassus is called Divri Atayda Azois through learning in Yoni Gula Mashiach. This is the Derech HaYeshara, the straightest way, the easiest way, and the fastest way from all the ways of Atayda that there is that we can bring Mashiach. Especially now, when Malchiyos, Mizgaros, that the only Nechama that a Yidin can have is that Mashiach is going to come. There is a video of a lady that came by the Rebbe by dollars and she said that her son got killed in a, in a whatever so how could she be misnachim? so the Rebbe told her now after what the Yidin went through the only Nechom is that Mashiach is coming take over Mayad Mashiach is coming right away and when Mashiach is going to come her son's going to be back everything is going to be taken care of the only Nechom that we can have now is by Melech HaMashiach coming 
and building the base Amigdash, taking everyone to Eretz Yisrael, and like the Rambam says, V'yilchayim melchamei Hashem v'yinatzeach kol ha'umid shesvivav, Melech HaMashiach, it is the main person that's going to fight the wars of the Eibishter and win over all the nations surrounding Eretz Yisrael. So we, what's the Derech HaYishoda? To bring Malach HaMashiach, to bring the Gula HaMittis V'Ashleima, this is through learning, being Moisif in Limad HaTayra, Bin Yoni Gula Mashiach, this is the fastest way to end this Golas. In Yoni Gula Mashiach itself, we find by the Rebbe, a very special koch and a very special emphasis on the last two prakim of the Rambam. And the Rebbe explained many, many reasons why he's emphasizing to learn the last two prakim of the Rambam more, the, more than other in Yonim from Gula Mashiach. But before we get to that, in Aloha and Gemara, there's such a music called Maiserav. Maisa, when someone does something, that's the strongest proof for anything. Not you're bringing a pasik, you, you see that this is the way tzaddikim acted, this is the biggest proof for uh, whatever you want to prove. This is what it brings down in Baba Basra, and the Rebbe mentions it many times. Maisa Rav, that the Rebbe stood for five hours and handed out to every single person a booklet Tvar Malchus, Chidushim, Ubiyurim, Bilchus, Malachim, Prakim, and Alf Yudbeis, a booklet with four Sikhis of the Rebbe on the last two Prakim of the Rambam, the Rebbe's explanations on these two Prakim of the Rambam. This is the strongest Hoychocho and showing how you need a Koch the Rebbe wants. The Rebbe could have given out other things. The Rebbe Davka gave out his Biyurim on Hilchus Malacha Mashiach. This shows the importance of learning these in Yonim. Now, what's so important about the Rambam? One of the Yonim that the Rebbe emphasized many, many times, and this is actually L'cha'oyr Amat Yodeya Das Elyon, so Amat Kaveya nothing, but there's a letter of the Rebbe to Reb Shloime Yosef Zevin, which he was a, a very big goin, he ran Encyclopedia Talmudis, and he, was more noite to the Mizrahi movement, the Zionist movement. Odmati Yugam Dara Shot be Vidivere Torah be Loshana Koidish ve Biyidish Vahulu. So Rab Shleim Yasiv Zevin held was more noite that the Gul already started to a certain extent and he even has a whole thing, maybe we should build a base Amigdash. So there's a letter of the Rebbe to Rabbi Zevin. The Rebbe writes, first of all, the Rebbe writes to him that in every Indian in Torah, you need to look at the Indian the way it is, la halacha la maise. A guy wants to know how to act, he cannot open up a Gemara or a Medrash and act according to a specific Gemara or a Medrash. He needs to open up a Shulchan Aruch. The Rebbe brings that the Rajbo if I remember, or the Radvaz, he writes that Shabbos starts from Shabbos by day, not from Shabbos by night. And a person, and he didn't keep Shabbos by night, which for every one of us, this is Mamash Chil Shabbos. But this is the way he acted. If a guy is going to open up this Rajba and say, look, I have a poisik that says to act in such a way, it's called Chil Shabbos. So too, the Rebbe writes regarding Mashiach and Geula. You can't open up a Gemara or a Medrash or the Rebbe says, even a Maimur Chsidis. And say, look, the Gula started. Because if someone says such a thing it, and it doesn't fit with Halacha, the Rebbe calls this a Mashiach Sheker in this letter. A very sharp Lashon of the Rebbe, Mashiach Sheker. And the Rebbe says, we find by Jewish history that whenever a Mashiach Sheker stood up, if it's a Mashiach not according to Halacha, it ended off with Korbanis. And the Rebbe uses a lotion over there, which is mamish, a, a mavildik a lotion. If someone would not know who said this, he would think that this is some satmer, uh, uh, I don't know what, toitis. He wouldn't believe that the Rebbe would say such a thing. But the Rebbe writes that the only biur that the Rebbe, fa the Rebbe has for all the korbonis that are in Eretz Yisrael, Hashem Yikim Domim, the Rebbe writes, and a yidin that were saved from the Holocaust with, miraculously, with miracles, 
these people were killed in Eretz Yisrael and also a not normal way. And I was, how is such a thing shaykh? This is only because people are saying that there's already a beginning, a yeschalte de geula, and because they're saying something heipach this is, it brings about korbanis. And therefore the Rebbe writes, the Rebbe ends off this letter and writes to him, the person katayna, why am I going around? The Rebbe would scream, anyone used to the Rebbe's fabrengans almost tons of times, the Rebbe would scream and say, that the ischalte de gula didn't happen yet, and that's going to happen dafke through Malach Hamashiach. And dafke after Malach Hamashiach wins over all the goyim, and he builds the base of Migdash, and he takes everyone to Eretz Yisrael, only then the ischalte de gula is going to start. And we do not have ischalte de gula, the Rebbe would emphasize it. So the Rebbe writes, L'cha'ira, how am I going around and spilling kalte vaser? The Rebbe says, Yidin are happy, Yidin are th- think that the gula started already, and therefore, they're getting, they're very happy. And when the Rebbe is saying that the Gula didn't start yet, what's the Rebbe doing? The Rebbe is taking away Simcha from Yidin. So the Rebbe says, how could I take away Simcha from Yidin? So the Rebbe answered, writes, that if it would just be Stamazoi take away Simcha from Yidin is Einzach. But if it's a Simcha by Yidin that's making Korbanis, so what's more important, that someone should be happy or there should be Korbanis? And this Indian Lachoir, it's also Negel Maisa. Someone I was speaking with, you have these, uh, there's a certain group, whatever, and they told me the goal is here, everything is over, Api Allahad, everything is done. So I told them I could show them from the Rebbe's letters that it's Chal to the Gul is only after Binin Baisa Migdash and after Kibbutz Golis and after you could do all the 613 mitzvahs, that's when the Gula starts. So they told me, if you want to prove to me anything, only from sikhs from the Nalaf and base. Don't bring me sikhs from before the Nalaf and base. So, what I told them is in Tavshin Nun Aleph, when the Rebbe started off the whole Mashiach campaign, the first thing that the Rebbe did was the Rebbe gave out his sikhs on the Rambam. The Rebbe gave out the Rambam, Milchas Malachim, Prakim Yidalef Yid base with his sikhs explaining that what is Mashiach and what is Ischal to the Geula, that you could do all 613 mitzvahs, and this is what the Rebbe gave every single person in their hand, which this is L'choyre and Alef and Beis, more than, than the Sikhs the Rebbe said in Alef and Beis. This, the Sikhs from an Alef and Beis, and Alef the Rebbe gave it to every person in their hand. This the Rebbe gave, handed it out to every single person, every baby, and gave them the Rambam. And the Rebbe said, and the Rebbe saying, you should learn this. And this is what Mashiach is al Allah. So that's number one. The first point that I've emphasized the importance of the Rambam. Not to make a mistake. Not to get confused with what Mashiach is not. But to know what is Mashiach. That's why you have to open up a Rambam and open up the Rebbe's Sikhs. Explaining the Rambam. Because there's almost no Mepharshim on these two Prakim. Like the... Radvaz writes right in the the case of Mishnah writes right in the beginning of Perik Yedalav of Hilchas Malachim. He says a Perik Azeh v'shal Acharo v'muno is toive is bevias meshicheinu v'ainli lefarish ba'im davar. I don't have nothing what to say on these two prakim. And like we find that Gdoyle Yisrael Chayre didn't chap the pshat of the Rambam in these two prakim. Like the Rebbe brings the famous Chasam Soifer. That he said, he doesn't know why the Rambam made Mashiach as a Yasod of Yiddishkeit. And he writes, his Lashon is Bishum Oifen. He has no way of fitting why is Mashiach a foundation, a Yasod that holds up Teda and Mitzvahs. And the Rebbe said, the Rebbe brought down the Rambam. And the Rebbe showed in Pash the Pshat of the Rambam that what is Mashiach, Hamalach HaMashiach Asid Lamid. So all the mitzvahs, all the 613 mitzvahs are going to be returned in the days of Mashiach just like it was. Which means, like the Rebbe brings out, that this is Pashta Pshat in the Rambam. That when the Rebbe brought his Chassam Seifer for one of the first times at Aleph and this in Tavshin Chav Beis, the Rebbe was crying, Mamish, like a... 
non-stop. And the Rebbe says, "B'mchilas kvoi teirosiv and the chasam soifer, or b'shleimus atayir of our mitzvahs is beferish yo aikur bedos to do teir and mitzvahs to fulfill all 613 mitzvahs is a yesod of Yiddishkeit." So if, you, if you're just going to have the Rambam, like Rabbi Avram Hersh Koyin said, one of the Lubavitcher from Yerushalayim, he said, anyone that doesn't learn, we spoke specifically was about the first Sikh and the Dvar Malchus and the Koivitz and in the Sefer, is the Lukuti Sikh is Chelikit Ches Bolok. He said, anyone that doesn't learn the Sikh, learn the Rabbi Sikh and the Rambam, is a Karkafta de loy Hemin be Mashiach. Or Apikoyres de loy Hemin be Mashiach. He says, Biz Nishkein, Biz Nishkein Maimin. In Mashiach, if you're not going to learn, the Rebbe is beyurim on the Rambam. So this is one Akuda. Mitzad and Akuda Shlilis, not to make a mistake, what Mashiach is not, to know what Mashiach is. Nukuda Chiyuvis that the Rebbe emphasized many times is, It says, "Istakel by Raisa Bara Alma." Kuchabrihu istakel by Raisa Bara Alma. The Eibishter looked inside the Torah, and from the Torah, the Eibishter created the world. Whatever we see, the ganze Welt is the is the Dvaravai is Torah, Torah and Mitzvahs. Torah is is, is Torah and Mitzvahs is the highest of the whole world. Pasodam Amoris Nivra Oilam. A chassan gets an aliyah le Torah before his chassan because the koyach at Torah is what gives him the koyach to build up a house. So he's about to build a world that this comes from the Torah. So the Rebbe said when a yid learns Torah about a specific Indian, this affects that that specific Indian should be mekuyim b'poyal mamash because the chayis of the world is the Torah. This is emphasized much more in Allah Hashem Torah because the, ha- the part of Torah that Shaykh the Oilam has a Gashmi is the Chalik of Allah Hashem Torah. Like we said before, there's Gemaris, there's Midrashim, but there are Lav Davke and Nigel Allah Lamaise. Which part, which part of Torah affects this Gashmi's Dika world, which is Nigel to this Oilam has a Gashmi? This is the Chalik of Allah Hashem Torah. Therefore, when a Yid learns in Yoni Gulam Mashiach Bechlal, this makes Mashiach come. But this is much more emphasized when a yid learns Hilchis Malach HaMashiach, this makes Mashiach come, Lamaisa Bamaisa Bapoyil.